Hey guys, what's up? Thanks so much for stopping by, or if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Dana, I'm so happy to have you. In today's video, I thought I would share some new products that are recently released in the beauty realm. I typically don't do like PR unboxings on my channel or anything, so I just set aside a few staple products that I just thought were really interesting or products that you guys may be interested in as well. Interested. How many more times can we say that word? Okay, starting off with one of my very favorite brands of all time. I got this lovely package from NARS. Thank you so much, NARS, for always showering me with these awesome goodies. So this is, is there a specific name for this collection? Is it Heat Wave or something like that? It just says NARS Iconic Bronzing Powder gets amplified with new shades and new textures. Can you take the heat? So this became available on April 1st. NARS blushes and bronzers are just some of my all-time favorites. I would say NARS Laguna is probably the bronzer that I have used the longest consistently. I just love it. It always works whether I'm self-tanned or if I have no tan going on, AKA right now. So in here we have eight different bronzers. I believe this side is just their newer like I don't know if it's shimmery exactly. I just took the tiniest peek. So it's their bronzing powders, but then on this opposite side, we have some of their classic shades, but in a matte version. So first up, we have the shade Punta Cana. Oh, this looks delicious. I love like rich orangey type of bronzers. Then we have the shade Casino. This is definitely just a staple. I should save some of these for a giveaway. And then we have San Juan. This would be perfect if you have more of a fair complexion. And then the last one on the left side is Laguna. Such a good classic. This would be another great one to throw into a giveaway. And then here is the matte version. I'm really excited to try that. I don't know what it is. I just love really rich, warm bronzers. And then this one in the center, I'm mad at myself. I barely dipped my finger in because I wanted to see if it was just an overspray. It is, but I don't care because it's so beautiful. These little tacky things in the styrofoam is intense. This is the Paradise Found Bronzing Powder. First of all, the outer packaging alone is just absolutely stunning but then look at the inside it is so beautiful I'm not sure if that's Laguna on the top with just a golden overspray I don't care what it is I love it and I can't wait to rub it all over my face we have three different lip products in this collection look at these this is gonna be a pain to take off but it'll be fun it'll give me something to do I'm pretty sure these are the oil yeah oil infused lip tints I have I think it's the shade damage in my everyday lip drawer. I love that one so much. But both of these look kind of metallic in the packaging. I'm curious to see how they are swatched. Since they're lip tints, they go on really sheer. Ooh, this one is Laguna. I bet this will be beautiful over a nude lip liner. And then the other shade is called Reef. This one looks like more of a pinky nude. I love the texture of these though. If you just want a really jelly, slick, but not greasy exactly, just like a typical oil tint, but I just love the texture of these on your lips. They just feel so luscious and just juicy. And then one of their Afterglow lip balms, this one is in Laguna. These are pretty sheer as well, but this one just has a little bit of a nudish hint to it. I love these. Okay, and then finally there are four, if I can get them out, of these pressed pigments, Power Chrome Loose Eye Pigment, just kidding. I feel like they definitely feel pressed though. I did a tutorial using the red one whenever these first came out. If you are looking for a high shine, like mirror metallic eye pigment, these are so good. They say loose, but they're like pressed in this pan. You don't need any sort of eye adhesive or eye adhesive, um, glitter glue or anything on your eye. They just glide right on. They are so beautiful. I can't wait to test out these new shades. So the white kind of pearly opalescent one is called Cast Away. And then we have this turquoise color, which I can't read the name because the sticker it looks like it says Isle something. I'm sure I will go ahead and list the names down below. This would be so pretty in the spring and summer months. I love whenever you go in with like a camel crease shade and then a pop of blue or turquoise on the lid. Then we have a really nice champagne gold shade called Shockum. And then the very final shade looks like a really nice rich bronze called... Sorry, the sticker's in the way. This one is called Stricken. Thank you, Nars. I'm so excited to test these products out. I absolutely love their line, so I'm sure I'll be loving those as well. Okay, moving on, I actually used some of these on my cheeks today. I've been testing them out for a while, and I have to say I really do like them, but I'm personally a huge fan of cream or liquid blushes. So these are from Grande Cosmetics. I think besides their like mascara, 
Um, they have a lash serum. I really think that's about all that I've tried from the line, but I've been really enjoying these blushes. I've only gone in to use two shades so far, but my favorite out of all of them is Cinnamon Sugar. I have a little bit of this on my cheeks right now. So these are supposed to be plumping on your cheeks. I personally haven't noticed any sort of plumping effect, but I will say in the video that I filmed today, I had mentioned that a lot of people were saying that this gives kind of like a tingly feeling, almost the way that the Buxom lip polishes do. And I don't know if it's because the other times I just use such a sheer layer. I personally didn't feel it myself, but I went in today with an additional really thin layer just to see if I could build it up to feel that like intense tingle that everyone was mentioning. I still don't think it feels like anything crazy you just get a little bit of a cooling feeling i kind of like it i find them to be very long wearing it does have a really large doe foot applicator i personally prefer to go in and apply it on the back of my hand and then stamp it onto my cheeks first it tends to dry down pretty quickly like if you were to go in and do dots on your cheeks with a doe foot applicator and go in on the other side i noticed that it does start to set pretty quickly to where the first time that i used it whenever i went in with my beauty blender i was left with like one circle so i always like to go in with my hand first dot it on and then go in one at a time like one Same. on each one cheek at a time, wow data, and then blend it out with my Beauty Blender. And then in that same line, they also released three liquid highlighters. There may be more, I'm not quite sure, but I received three of them. I have used all three of these so far. It's the highlighter that I'm wearing today. I do think they're really pretty. They're not like my absolute favorite. If I had to pick one of my all-time favorite liquid highlighters, it would probably be Becca Opal and just the classic pump formula, but they are really nice, especially if you're wanting to try something new out, but I do think I prefer the blushes over the highlighters. I got some PR from Clavu, which this was the very first time. I've talked about their cleansing foam before, which I absolutely love, or it's just a typical cleanser, but it has a really nice high rich lather. I personally love Korean cleansers, Japanese cleansers, just the way that they really foam up without stripping your skin and making them feel dry. It's just especially for removing makeup after you go in with a cleansing balm. But they sent me a cushion foundation, which I'm really excited to try. This is the Urban Pearlsation. In fact, I think the cleanser was in the pearl line too. Silkwear Lasting Cushion SPF 35 PA++. The only thing is with KBD Cosmetics, most of the complexion products have a very limited shade range. This one is in, what is the color? Lasting Cushion 21 Light Beige. Oh yeah, this looks light even right now for me. But once I'm paler, I'm sure it'll be fun to try. Ooh, the coverage of this one looks a lot thicker than some of my other ones. Oh, although as I go in and smudge it out, but holy cow, that's fair. I actually don't know if I'd ever be able to use this one maybe as an under eye product. That stinks because I really do want to try it. But yeah, I mean, I can already tell even at my lightest, that looks way too light. I'll have to save that for a friend who's very fair. But the packaging is really cute. Along with that, they sent over the White Pearlsation Ideal Actress Backstage Cream Special Set. So I'm not quite sure because everything on the back is in Korean, but I did swatch one of these the other day and I think it's kind of like a color correcting primer. It says that it's actually a Smart Beauty Award with Marie Claire, Best of Beauty Korea Allure 2019 Editor's Pick. So clearly they must be pretty good. Inside we have lavender, I guess this is just their classic pearl, and then mint. What else do we have here? Ooh, speaking of illuminating products, I received the Super Goop Glow Screen SPF 40. I've talked about their Unseen Sunscreen in the past, as well as their, shoot, what is that one called? It's like an SPF moisturizer that's also illuminating. I really like that. But I haven't tried this out yet. I have seen several people swatch it on their hands just over on like Instagram or YouTube. And I've mentioned in a video that I feel like it kind of looks similar to my favorite Thank You Farmer um, Sun Project Water Cream where it has that same glowy finish. So it just says a clean chemical sunscreen actives for all skin types, glowing finish, non, why do I always struggle with this word? Non-comedogenic, right? I really like Super Goop sunscreens from Fresh Beauty. That was really loud, I'm sorry. They sent over a few of their products. This is 
one that's standard in their line. I just think it's a newer size. They're a fresh rose and deep hydration face cream, but a product that I've been using recently, this is newer to their line. It's their rose deep hydration oil infused serum. So it's one of those bi-phase products where you have like oil and then the serum on the other side, you shake it up. I already liked their original rose toner that had the petals in it, but I have to say, I do prefer this. It just feels really deeply hydrating on the skin. It's not overly oily by any means. You do have a little bit of that like slick feel, but I will say it absorbs in pretty quickly where you're not left with like a super heavy base for a long time. I can still use this in the mornings and then go in with um, makeup on top afterwards. Mm, I just love that like clean rose scent. Something about this though, I do smell a little bit of cucumber as well. And then another new product in their line is their Rose Petal Soft Lip Cream. This smells so much like the Christian Dior Rose Balm. It doesn't have the same like, I don't want to say creamy, but almost pearly pink finish that the Dior one has, but it still is just really nourishing and hydrating on the lips. I love the way that it smells. I've been keeping this on my nightstand. This, I was really excited to receive. This is from Revlon. I've heard Jessica Braun raving about these. I'm not even sure what the exact name is. Um, what are you? Just Revlon Super Lustrous, I guess, Shine Finish. She said that she felt like this was basically the Revlon Lip Butters reintroduced. So in the line, I think there's actually, oh, wow. There are a lot of shades. I think they sent maybe like eight or 10 over though. Whenever I look at this chart, the two that stick out right away is Glazed Mauve and then Glossed Up Rose. I don't think they sent either of those over. I'm still incredibly grateful because they didn't have to send me anything, but they sent a lot of, oh, there's actually Glossed Up Rose in here. I guess I overlooked that one, but the sticker on these, <laughs> I should have taken all of these off first. I've only swatched one of them so far, or wore it, sorry, and it did feel really nice on the lips. I wore this on Instagram stories and so many of y'all were asking what it was. This is the Fire and Ice shade. It's just a really pretty, glossy kind of fuchsia pink. I will say the formula does feel pretty darn similar to the Revlon lip butters. There you have it. Just a quick little unboxing of what's new-ish in beauty. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I typically don't do these unboxing type of videos, but I was really excited to share the NARS collection with y'all and the swatches of the Grande Cosmetics blushes just because I've really been enjoying those. That's all that I have for today. Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out. If you haven't already, I would love if you subscribe. That way you don't miss out on any future content. You can also always find me over on Instagram. I love sharing just random tidbits over on stories, but yeah, that's it for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.